What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today we're going to be talking about how to write killer product descriptions for your e-commerce store. Now product descriptions are huge. It's something that I've been focusing on a lot recently and as a result I've seen a big increase in my conversion rate. So be sure to stick around and listen to the strategies that I'm using. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, product descriptions are absolutely huge and I would honestly beg to say that it is probably one of the most important elements on your website, if not the most important element on your website. And that's because product descriptions really turn someone who kind of saw your ad and they're mildly interested in the product to someone who actually ends up buying the product. So the purpose of a product description is obviously to convince someone to buy. So obviously product descriptions are going to differ based on your products, but there's a certain format that I follow for all of my products. So basically the format that I'm doing is I start out with a couple sentences talking about the product and those sentences basically just explain the purpose of the product and why it's useful to the customer. And then I use bullet points like usually three to four to really highlight some of the important features of the product. After the bullet points, I put like a picture of the product in use or I put a GIF of the product being used. I don't know if it's GIF or GIF, but you know what I mean. But anyway, the purpose of that is just to catch someone's eyes and kind of just give them a reward for reading all of your uh, nitty gritty product description. Okay, so under the picture or GIF, I put something called a sales reaffirmation. And this is just one or two sentences designed to really uh, trigger something in the customer's mind if they're mildly interested in the product that will convert them into a buyer. So I remember for a skincare product, I had a sales reaffirmation that was a quote from a skincare doctor. And it basically said, this product is great and it effectively cleans your pores. And then it had like the name and the PhD and whatever, everything else. So that was my sales reaffirmation and obviously it worked very good and I think that that's a really important part of every product description. So under the sales reaffirmation, I have a safe checkout button. Now that's not completely necessary. I know some people don't use them, but for me, I've seen increased conversion rates by using a safe checkout button. Okay, so just to go over that again, um, the first thing that you're gonna want in your product description is probably about two to three lines of text explaining the product and its uses. Next, you're gonna have a couple bullet points that highlight the important features. Then you're gonna have a picture or a gift showing the product, and then you're gonna have a sales reaffirmation followed by a safe checkout button. Now I'm gonna be showing you some examples of really good product descriptions that I've seen on other websites. So this store uses a similar product description structure to me. So um, as you can see, he starts out with a couple sentences explaining the like benefits of this product and why you need it. And then there's bullet points, quote unquote, these are check marks that um, just explain the important features of the product. Under that, there is a picture. A GIF also works very well there. And then there is a size chart. Now I don't need to have a size chart, but if you're selling clothing or something that has different sizes, then I would recommend putting it there. But um, for me personally, what I would do is like I said, a sales reaffirmation and also something that like announces a sale. For example, if it's 60% off and you advertise that in your ad, then um, there needs to be some consistency between your ad and your description. So in your description, I would just put, we're giving this out 60% off for like 24 hours or whatever. Following that, I would normally put a safe checkout button there, but he put it up here below the add to cart. Okay, so just some tips about product descriptions. I highly recommend that you keep it short and simple. You don't want to use all these fancy words that are going to confuse customers. You don't want to write them a freaking novel because they don't want to read that. All you have to do is highlight the characteristics of the product and why they need to buy it. So I highly recommend that you try to keep your product descriptions eye-catching and easy to read. That kind of goes along with the other point, but some ways you can also make it eye-catching is like I said, using a picture or a GIF and also use bolds and italics in the right places. In addition, you can also do colors 
In certain circumstances, I don't really use colors for my descriptions, but maybe if you have a brand that uses certain colors, then you could include it in your product description. Obviously keep these to a minimum, but like I said, bolds, italics, and different colors can work if you do them in the right way. Okay, so just one last thing I wanna say is that testing is key for everything in e-commerce and product descriptions are no different. I highly recommend that you write out two or three or even four different variations of a product description and test to see which one works better. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I was able to give you some tips that increase your conversion rate and your revenue. Be sure to hit that big red subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you in the next one.